Hey y'all, this is your girl Angie Horenic of Evangeline's B and B and Queen of Cuisine, and I got my girl here, Tay. What up, yo? Is she gorgeous? Listen, T turned me on to this recipe of 7-Up Pound Cake, y'all. And I thought I was going to pass out. You know me. I'm from the city of New York City, honey. I ain't never heard of no 7-Up Pound Cake before. But now that I have, she's going to walk us through how to make it. So, I'm going to give it over to her. All right, y'all? Let's make some 7-Up Pound Cake. <laughs> We're going to cream the the butter it is at room temperature you want to make sure that all your ingredients are at room temperature so we have some room temperature butter that we're about to get ready to cream all right so now that we have the butter whipped and fluffy and creamy as you can see it kind of resemble resembles icing so at this point, we're going to add the sugar into the butter and then we're going to cream it. And there's no special way to add the sugar in. You can just, you know, just pour all of it in there. Just like that. We're going to add the flour in the 7-Up. However, you do want to make sure that you alternate between the two, the flour and the 7-Up. You want to start with flour, you're going to end with flour. So, slow. mix it until it's just incorporated. Try not to overwork your batter as best as you can. Scraping down the sides. Incorporate the dry ingredients, the flour, into the beautiful creamy base. Look how beautiful. Look how much air is being incorporated into this batter right now. That looks remarkable. The first set of flour, the one cup incorporated into the, the mixture, the egg mixture. Now we're going to add one half cup of the 7 Up. And you do want to make sure that you don't over mix. As soon as the flour is incorporated into the mixture, you want to immediately get the 7 Up. So we're going to do about half a cup. So that's about half a cup. Well, this is our final shot of the shot. <laughs> this is the final um half cup. <laughs> this is the, the the remainder of the seven up. So we're gonna add this half a cup of seven up into the batter. All right, go. Listen to that piece. Now we have this flour um, butt cake butt pan. Cake pan. So make sure it's flour for sure because the cake will stick to the pan if you don't flour it. And look, just, just look how beautiful the batter came out. It's fluffy, it's creamy. It's just amazing. Yummy. Look at that. Tastes like pound cake already, yo. Tanya, put a foot up in this one, yo. <laughs> I lying. <laughs> I lying. <laughs> <She> lying. <laughs> <I say> so. <laughs> awesome. 
So we have our oven preheated at 350 degrees. And um, this batter, this cake is gonna be in the oven, how long? What's An the time? hour and 15 minutes. Awesome. Also, I did forget to mention at the beginning, we use cake flour and not all purpose. It does make a difference. It so does. Make sure when you bake in your cake, you use cake flour. And I'm helping spin the pan for even distribution within the pan with hopes that, you know, after we shake the pan to even out the batter. This little thing right here, it's a little tip we got for you. So, <laughs> I'm just joking. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the skewer and you're gonna just go around and then go around the opposite side. Okay, so now my favorite part, we're going to put the cake in the oven at 350 degrees and we're going to bake it for an hour and 15 minutes. Okay. And you always want to bake, uh, you want to place things on the middle, right there. So Look how beautiful that is. Of truth. So let's we'll see how we can look. Oh, she doing a dance, y'all. Look, she moving. Look. Uh. <laughs> 